I didn't volunteer for what I'm about to tell you, so don't think I'm having a good time retelling it. Hello, my name is Brian Michael Green. I'm 32 years old. I live in New York City. I'm an artist. And I was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia when I was 28. One day I, I hear whispers that the wind carries. The uh, they tell me to do things, that. or that I the am a thing, of and they disturb me. The to me all the time my my thoughts get confused between so what is real and what is not, and I become sicker. I hate being sick. The medicine makes me hungry. I eat and get fatter, thinking that the fat will keep me under control. I see things in my plays and television more than I should. Encoded for me, she would they try to make me think and feel things that I don't want to experience. They break my psyche. I tie myself to metaphors. I lose it because of their accusations. Because things linger like clouds. They take up time and space. And you've changed, my brother, into a man. Now I understand you, and I enjoy you But you're bothered past the norm by her, and I have a sympathy. I gear. wouldn't have if well, I along with not eating people, you can also eat your own body um, parts. The weight of reality keeps me blind to the dreams of tomorrow. Um, um, in in my dreams, I killed you. You shot me, and I threw up. That I, make CDs, I dreamed of the Mississippi DVDs, River. Who lived in the and Delta? I picked an right, apple, bit down, and black ashes filled my mouth. The core was carbon. Your program into yourself. Uh, so this slant way, to it you can, uh, that other they think about me Broadcast little I try, I wait of, faith of disturbs me that, while that temptation mounts your intent. bleeding, open veins screaming I claw at the wall the conch comes at me saying that I abstain, I grabbing flesh I burn away being a strong which person, I think is unfair because they don't even know me there's someone in my gut. I want him out. He knows me so well, yet I've never seen him. I know what you said. It's all in my head. You can hear it. Watching me, I know what you see, and it scares me. You might be right. They're always there, the voices. I am never alone. The constant analyzing of my psyche and telling me to be tend to be one role I should play in life. I try not to listen, but when I do, I get angry and I'm alone. I wonder why. Whatever I'm thinking about, I'll hear They treat us like dogs, but we're not rabid. For ratings, we are depicted as looters and thugs, while the helplessness of our people is looked at like chickens with no heads. For years, we've been patient, waiting for the time when we will be respected for who we are, not what a few of us do. I watch, I cry out, but my pleas are never answered.